Shannon Casey. Wow, you're just throwing it right in there. Didn't ask me if I was ready or anything. You ready? Okay, I'm Courtney Casey. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Showing up ready for the job. Yeah. So today we go up, we virtually go up to the Lelanau Peninsula. Lelanau. Right up in the Traverse City area. Yes. In part of the Northern Wine Loop. Yes. Rapshaw Vineyards. Rapshaw. And we got this bottle as a gift we from did. a long time Michigan by the Bottle fan, Kathleen Swinehart. Thank you so much, Kathleen. Um, Thank if, you. If you have seen some gorgeous pictures posted of Lila Peninsula online, chances are, you know, if they're on Flickr or Facebook, a lot of times they're taken by Kathleen. She's yep. an excellent photographer, um, does a lot of great shots of the different events up at Lila Peninsula. So, Kathleen was kind enough to stop by a few months ago in, in our tasting room to come visit us. Mm -hmm. Drove all the way down from Cadillac just to see us and brought us this gift from Rapshell Vineyards. Yeah, it's a 2011 Gewürztraminer. Yes, and if you haven't been to Rapshell, it's a very interesting place. Um, Warren is the owner and the winemaker there. And it's, it's a little bit nondescript. It's, um, it's very, how would you describe the... Eclectic. Eclectic. It's, um, he's got some great wine there, mm -hmm. um, but walking in you wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, you know, it's just kind of like very casual. Yep. Um, but apparently, according to their website mm -hmm. and the information that they've gotten, Rashel has been there for quite a while and previously it was a dairy operation and then it was a cherry orchard and now um, they obviously are a vineyard and winery and they produce more than a thousand cases of Bordeaux varietal red wines. Uh, specifically Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and they also do Chardonnay, Riesling, and Gewürztraminer. And one of the things that people really rave about from there that we haven't had a chance to try yet is the port. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to trying that at some point in the future. It's funny that you didn't mention it, but what, the last time I was there, my favorite wine from, uh, Pinot Noir. from Warren was the Pinot Noir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's dig right into this 2011 Gewürztraminer. And I believe the, the labels are, um, are a salute to his mother. Mm -hmm. So, definitely family link there. Alright, let's give it a swirl. Our glasses are actually sweaty because it's so warm outside today. Yeah. It's 85 degrees outside today. Thank God! Wow, big aromatics. Yeah, it's very... Big aromatics. Delicious smelling, very juicy smelling. Yeah. I get like a like a white grapefruit. Okay. Yep. Yep. And, and maybe even over here. maybe even a little rose petal. This is very much a dry gewürztraminer. Yes. Um, a lot of places in Michigan are making a sweeter gewürztraminer, um, which is fine. I tend to prefer the, the spicier, drier gewürztraminers like uh, John Cropa makes at Peninsula Cellars. See, I tend to dig a little a little sweeter, mm -hmm. um, like the gewürztraminer and rice. State yep. and uh, blue stone with the acacia barrels. Yep. Um, but I that said, even though I do typically prefer a little bit sweeter, I, I like it's very refreshing. It's very tangy, like um, the acidity. The there's a lot of pop. To yeah. It. No, this is a fantastic orange um, uh, it, It's it's very spicy. It's it's not overly floral. Sometimes you get gewürztraminers that I like to say smell like or like taste taste like you're, a flower. Yeah, or or you're like your grandma's bathroom. Grandma's bathroom. I think you mentioned it the last time we did gewürztraminer. Right. It, and this is not that way at all. I mean, there's definitely a little bit of floral notes, but it's it's big on the grapefruit, maybe a little bit of peach, and a there's lot a whole of, lot of tang there. And, a, and a lot of spice and tang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This uh, this would be great with with Thai food. Yes. Well, I believe on the label it actually suggests with barbecue and Asian food, and it says also good for snacking. Who doesn't like a good wine just to snack? No, this is this is incredible. Um, do you know what the retail price on this? It is eleven dollars. Yeah, I don't think you can find a, a better deal for eleven dollars on a little nothing this morning. This is really good. Wow, that is quite the high price there. I like it. I have a feeling Shannon's going to be uh, consuming quite a bit of reverse demeanor today. Yeah, no, this is this is fantastic, especially on a day that's 85 degrees out. This yeah, this is, is really the perfect day for a wine like this. Yeah. this. This isn't the kind of wine I necessarily would would be hankering. Hankering? Do I just say hankering? Hankering for in the middle of like 80? Of, in 
the middle of winter, you know, mm -hmm. but now it's like you can feel that shift in you as it gets warmer. It's like all of a sudden, I, like all winter I was like, eh, I don't want any white, and now it's like all of a sudden you're like, yeah, yeah. I kind of go for a white, yep, and now the reds feel like too heavy. Yeah, because no, so this warm. is this is super refreshing. Super Look at this crisp. thing sweating. It is so warm in here. It's it's super refreshing and crisp, and, and I can't wait to hang out outside and finish the rest of this bottle. He might be drinking straight out of the bottle. Right. Not gonna lie. Well done, Warren. Well done. <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> and thank you to Kathleen for delivering it to us. Super well done. Yeah. To Kathleen. We didn't have to. We didn't have to get it ourselves. Right. Just came right to us. Fell in our lap. So this is fantastic. Thank you. And, and make sure that you check out. If you haven't been to Rapshaw, make sure you check it out. They are, yeah, as you mentioned, they're on the Northern Wine Loop mm -hmm. and the Leelanau Peninsula. Um, the Northern Wine Loop, wow, already helping yourself some more. Well, um, what do do? The Northern Wine Loop actually formed um, a couple of years ago mm -hmm. as, as an offshoot of the Leelanau Peninsula wineries because there are so many on Leelanau Peninsula, which is a great thing, but it's kind of hard to hit them all in one day or even a couple days. Impossible. Um, so they had the Northern Wine Loop to kind of show off the ones that were north of M204 on the Leelanau Peninsula. Um, now they divide up the Lunar Peninsula into three loops to make it easier to travel. So if you go to lpwines.com, I'll put that at the bottom of the screen, um, there's the loops and the, the, these gorgeous new maps that show you all the ones on the different loops. So actually you could break it up into loops on, on several days. But really, yeah. with the amount of wineries that are up there now between Lilana and Old Mission, you can yeah. spend a few weeks up there and not get as much time in as, as you want to because everybody has a great story. There's yeah. plenty of awesome wines. Um, and if you haven't checked out my travel diary from the LPVA Media Weekend, do it. For sure. Yep. A lot of good information there. A lot of cool stuff. It, it, we run into people every day at the tasting room who say, oh, I haven't been up to the Traverse City area in five years, six years, or I haven't done, been down to Lake Michigan Shore in a few years, yep. or a lot of people have never been to the Pioneer Wine Trail. Now is the time. Yeah. Now is the time. There's wineries There's popping no time up. Like the there's wineries popping up everywhere. They're doing just incredible, incredible wines. They're, they're taking medals in international wine competitions, mm -hmm. and not just in Michigan, but everywhere. And it's, it's about time you rediscovered uh, Michigan wines for the first time. You didn't even get paid to say that. Check out Rapshaw. Please keep checking out michiganbythebottle.com, where we're supporting the state with every sip.